Well, I have a story to tell you. The big rig and the surprise on the back. Shocking, to say the least. I'm going to tell a story about a man. We'll call him Brother Buttons. He was a big rig driver. And the sad part about his life at this time was his wife had just passed away recently. And he was still in mourning. And he was almost forgetting things and really losing his bearings because he was so deep in sorrow, right? So one day he had to go to work and he had to drive cross country as usual. And he hooks up the, the rig to the cab and you know, all of the little technical terms I don't understand, but he hooks his rig up and he hits the road after he loads or wherever he has to load. He's on the road now, and he's driving quite a while, and he noticed, he looks up, and he says, wait a minute, he's in his, looking in his rear view mirror, or his side mirror, you know how trucks, you have to look in the side mirrors, just like buses. I used to drive buses, so. He's looking in the side mirror, and he says, wait a minute, there's a man, what is he doing on the back of my rig? And he, he said, he looked and, and he's driving and he looks again and he's driving and he's like, well, what's going on? He's looking in the side view mirrors, right? Trying to figure this out. What is this crazy man doing? How did he get on there in the first place at top speed on the freeway? He wasn't there before. And all of a sudden this man is on his truck and he's like, what? Now here's the trip. I'm going to describe him to you the way the man described him. He said the man has his white, white hair and it's long and it's flowing and flopping and bouncing around in the wind behind him. And the wind is hitting this long robe and his clothes and blowing behind him, you know, like a guy riding a motorcycle. And I mean, he's hanging on to this truck. And he said, what is that about? So he's got to keep going because he's got to stay on schedule. He gets close to where he's going, pulls off the ramp now, and almost comes to a stop, and he notices the man disappeared. So when he pulls into the parking lot where his destination is right off the freeway, he jumps out of his rig and he's trying to make sense out of the thing. He realized who the man was. When he saw the back of his rig, he had not hooked it up correctly. It was not connected securely. It was an angel keeping the truck together so nobody else on the road would be killed and he wouldn't be hurt. And he was able to take his moment to get that thing hooked up correctly. It was a weird looking man. It wasn't like a normal looking person. He was bigger than usual. I mean, just crazy looking and just appeared out of nowhere at top speed, 70, 80 miles an hour, and then disappeared coming off the freeway. That's humanly impossible. I mean, no matter where he looked, there was no sign of anybody rolling on the ground near the shoulder of the freeway. The man just disappeared. So I just say that to tell you, we have angels watching over us daily. We have no idea how much protection God is giving us. And I just want you to feel secure. When you get ready to get on that freeway at any given time, you ask God to assign his guardian, warring and ministering angels to protect you. You never know when you may need one, okay? God bless you. Pray for your children. Pray for your loved ones. Pray for your friends, whoever goes on your mind at a moment. When you think of somebody being on the road, you get an urgency, you stop what you're doing and pray right there on the spot. Who knows what prayer from what person got that angel on the back of that truck? Because mm. his kids were very concerned because he was really 
kind of in a fog, you know, once their mother had passed away. So they were praying for supernatural protection because he needed it. Obviously, he had not connected his rig to the cab securely. All those miles, all those hours, and that man hung on that on the back of that truck that whole time. God bless you as you chew on that one.